Hello everyone, it's Apple. So today I'm going to do another challenge video. I really want to try out the Draw This Again challenge. So that's where you take one of your oldest artworks and you draw it again. This uh, was my very first drawing that was done in the anime style. So I really want to try remaking it and see how much I've improved over time. I think I did this one a little over 10 years ago. So we're just going to see what the change is. Hopefully there's a change. That would be bad if there was no change in 10 years. All right, let's start. So I guess I'll talk a bit about my thought process while drawing this. So because this was a drawing from 2007, that was over 10 years ago. It was right when I started to learn how to draw anime. I was really interested at the time in, I think, um, different animes like Tokyo Mew Mew. I used to watch a lot. I used to watch Lucky Star, Melancholy of Haruki Suzumiya, if you guys have heard any of those. And I was really inspired to start drawing like that. So I would look up a bunch of tutorials on how to draw hands, eyes, faces, you know, things like that, basics. And I think at the time I thought it was amazing, but looking back I really needed a lot of practice. So this drawing was just a really, really basic pose, hands behind the back. You know, um, I didn't know how to draw hands at all, so what do you do when you can't draw them? You hide them. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of the pose, but I wanted to stay true to what the original was. I think the only thing that I ended up changing in this drawing, um, well, I fixed the bow because I didn't know how to draw bows back then, and it looks kind of weird the way, in, in the original, the way it, it was like giant loops rather than an actual bow. So I fixed that up a bit and I got rid of the long ribbons on it. And then for the tail, I moved it to the other side of her just because I thought it looked better in this drawing. I fixed up the way I drew the anatomy because in the original drawing, you could see almost her entire body, yet her head was still really huge, which is not how it should look proportionally. So I tried to fix that up and make it more proportionate to how she would look if this was a portrait of her with her head taking up most of the page, which is how I like to draw the portraits with, you know, I really like drawing big eyes and like big rosy cheeks, things like that. So I try to add a lot of my touches that I use today and really try to show my style now as compared to the way it was back then. One of my favorite things in general is seeing improvement over time in artists. I really love looking at people's old, old artwork and seeing the progress of it over time. Um, Cause I don't, it's really inspiring to look at, to see that, you know, wow, they really, they started the same way I started, you know, kind of looking a little awkward and not the best anatomy and things like that. And then you can really see what a lot of practice will do, years and years of practice. So. That's one reason that I just, I mainly like looking at improvement art is just the inspiration that it gives me. So now I'm gonna talk about the coloring a bit. Back then I did not know what shading was basically. I didn't shade anything. I just kind of did a flat color on everything. I maybe shaded like some things very, very slightly, but I didn't really have a concept of where the light was coming from or anything like that. And I'm not an expert on that now. I really do want to practice different um, lighting angles and things like that because I tend to draw the same or a similar um, shading pattern in most of my drawings. So I really want to try and branch out a bit. But in terms of this drawing, I just stuck with the way I would just normally do it. And yeah, I tried to shade her skin pretty detailed. Um, I guess not too much because I knew there was going to be a lot of color on her and I didn't want her skin to be too crazy. So I did her cheeks all pink, um, which is one of my favorite things in my drawings that I do. I get, I have a lot of fun doing that part. Also the lips. Um, sometimes when I draw, I don't do very detailed lips, but when I do portraits, I tend to do the lips a little more pronounced. Um, so yeah, then I went into the eyes and in the original, her eyes were more of a copper color. I think I used a, like a, copper colored gel pen. 
so it wasn't anything too fancy. But I tried to reinterpret that, what that would be in terms of an eye color. So instead of going with a brown, I went with more of a gold since she's a cat and I think that's what I wanted to, to do in the original was to make her look like she's got some kind of golden eyes and that's probably why I went with the copper color. Um, but yeah, and then for the hair, I think back then I had used more of like a lilac color, so it's like a pink, pinkish purple, but um, I didn't really want to use up my entire lilac marker and I don't have too many shades of um, lilac. I have one that's a bit lighter and then one that's a little bit darker, but nothing that I can really shade it too dark with. So instead of going with that, I just went with purple. And I tried to add in some of the lighter lilac on top of it as I went. But yeah, I definitely tried to make her hair look nice and shiny and do it up the way I like to do it now. Again, I really wanted it to show the difference in my improvement from you know 2007 until now in terms of my coloring style. One thing that I think is important when coloring hair is to remember to leave areas open to kind of color lighter rather than the rest of it. Like what I mean by that is don't block down all one color and then shade that one color. Leave areas for highlights and areas that you can color in a lighter shade of that color so it looks like there's, you know, it's interesting rather than just being one flat color and then some areas are a little darker. One thing that I think is really important when shading also is to use at least, I guess I would say at least minimum three different colors when you're shading something. So if you've got, like as you can see with the ears, I've got the orange that I put down and then I put down a brownish color to shade it. But then I went over both of those colors to kind of blend them together with a color that was in between the orange and the brown, just so it would fade better because sometimes if you just use two colors, it gives a bit of a harsher fade, or um, sometimes it doesn't even fade at all very well, and it's just a really harsh shadow rather than a nice, smooth effect. So, I mean, I guess it depends what you're going for, but if you really want it to look blended, which is something that is really good with Copic markers specifically, it's better to use more shades mixed in together so you really get a nice blended effect with your colors. So I want to go back to talking about the drawing specifically real quick. When I was coloring in this shirt, I was really confused because I was looking at my original drawing and her shirt looked gray at first. So I started coloring the shoulders in like a very light gray and then I was going to start shading in the rest with like a medium gray to dark. I was going to try to blend everything. But then I was looking at the original again and it was kind of looking like a, like a very light, light tannish gray so I, I had a color that like almost exactly fit that so I was like great I'll do this and then like halfway through it started running out a bit so I like took a break with the marker and I went back in there to color that's why you don't see me coloring in the second part of the shirt it's just colored but um yeah so I ended up going with that color but I wasn't too sure about it at the end because then I looked at it the original again and it looked gray so I don't know I guess it doesn't really matter but um I was trying to stick to the original color scheme the best I could, so, you know. And, um, but I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day because it's all interpretation. my draw this again challenge. This was really fun. Um, I tried to match the colors as best as I could on the newer version, obviously changing some of the tones based on what I think I was going for back in 2007. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, subscribe to my channel, and tell me what you think in the comments. I'm excited to see you guys in my next video.
and I hope you guys all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.